This is what your brain cells look like when they're starved of oxygen and nutrients. Unfortunately, most people don't realize their brain isn't getting proper blood flow until they start experiencing memory problems or cognitive decline. Even worse, many don't discover this until they're diagnosed with dementia or Alzheimer's. Some sources say cognitive decline affects one in nine adults over 45, and that's definitely the worst way to find out about poor brain circulation. So today our topic is in regards to nitric oxide and how it could save your brain. Let's discuss how this molecule works what the science really shows and how to optimize it naturally so you can protect your cognitive function keep enjoying time with your family keep doing your hobbies and of course maintain your independence as you age now a quick note when we talk about brain health there's a lot of confusion out there and a lot of supplement companies will tell you it's all about antioxidants or omega-3s or the latest trendy nutrient but today we're going to focus on something your body actually produces nitric oxide nitric oxide or short for NO is a signaling molecule so think of it like a messenger in your body while most people know about its role in heart health what's really exciting is its effect on your brain so let me explain uh, why this matters so much. See, your brain makes up only about 2% of your body weight, but it needs 20% of your body's oxygen and nutrients. And that's a huge. And guess what controls whether those nutrients get delivered? That's right, nitric oxide. So when nitric oxide levels are optimal, your blood vessels can dilate properly. They can open up wide and deliver everything your brain cells need. But when nitric oxide is low, those vessels can't expand like they should, and your brain cells start struggling for oxygen and nutrients. And that's when the problems begin. Recent research from top institutions shows that nitric oxide does even more than that. It actually helps your brain cells communicate better, it strengthens the connections between neurons, and it helps convert short-term memories into long-term. And this isn't just theory. Dr. Solomon Sinoder from John Hopkins University, one of the pioneers in this field, discovered that nitric oxide acts as a crucial neurotransmitter. It actually influences everything from memory formation to blood flow in the brain. But here's where it gets really interesting. The Journal of Neuroinflammation recently published findings showing that proper nitric oxide levels can actually protect your brain cells. It reduces inflammation in the brain. It supports your mitochondria. Those are the powerhouses of your cells. And it helps fight oxidative stress. Now you might be thinking, okay, but how do I know if I have, let's say, enough nitric oxide? while well, researchers at Stanford's Neuroscience Institute have found that when people optimize their nitric oxide levels, they see improvements in cognitive performance, memory retention, focus and concentration, and perhaps most importantly, it might help slow down age-related cognitive decline. So how do you optimize your nitric oxide levels? So let me show you the natural ways that actually work. First, your diet matters tremendously. You want to focus on foods rich in natural nitrates. Arugula, this is actually the highest in nitrates with consumption of 250 grams to activate nitric oxide pathway. I don't like spinach myself as it's super high in oxalates, but beets and beetroot juice, they are okay, but you need to consume 300 grams per serving for proper activation. And pomegranates works okay. But here's what most people don't realize. It's not just about food. Your lifestyle has a huge impact on nitric oxide production. So you need a regular aerobic exercise. This stimulates nitric oxide production. Proper sleep, your body repairs and regenerates during sleep. Stress management, chronic stress depletes nitric oxide. Deep breathing exercises through humming or nasal breathing, this actually helps activate nitric oxide production. 
Based on all the research we've reviewed, here's what I recommend to my patients. Start with incorporating nitrate-rich foods daily. Get at least 30 minutes of exercise three to five times per week. Maintain consistent sleep patterns, same bedtime, same wake time. And practice some form of stress reduction daily. And my favorite is humming as the vibration in your nasal cavities dramatically increase nitric oxide production. The research in this field is moving fast. Harvard's brain science is currently studying how nitric oxide might help prevent age-related cognitive decline and even support recovery from brain injury. But you don't have to wait for all the research to come in. We already know enough to take action. So understanding how nitric oxide affects your brain health is crucial for making informed decision about your cognitive wellness. While research continues, the evidence is clear. Supporting your body's natural nitric oxide production could be one of the most important things you do for your brain. And if you want to learn more about protecting your brain health, hit the subscribe and turn on notifications as next week, We'll dive deep into specific exercise protocols that enhance nitric oxide production in the brain. Guys, thank you for joining me today. I'm Maurice, your clinician, helping you optimize your health so you can live longer, think better, and enjoy life more fully. Remember, your brain is health, is your wealth. Don't wait until it's too late to start taking care of it. Want to learn more about protecting your brain? Download my free brain boosting nitric oxide recipe.